waiting in those long cafeteria lines with our investigation found coming up. Plus, if you drop to school, you can expect to pay more at Gas Pump. Just how much? That's coming up. Hello, we are so glad you decided to join us for the new Silver Eagle News. I'm Amy Roden. And I'm Drew Juana Sanders. Police are investigating another mass shooting in our country, this time in Monterey Park, California. Silver Eagle News has learned 11 people are dead. Police say the shooting happened while the victims were celebrating the Lunar New Year weekend. Investigators are still trying to figure out what the motive is. You may recall last semester's classes were interrupted due to smoke in the F building. Silver Eagle News reporter Sierra Harley was on the scene while students were waiting to return to class. Monday afternoon, a small fire started in the F building. While smoke filled the building, students were quickly evacuated and put in a safe area. Jacksonville Fire Department came to clear the smoke and found that a piece of paper was lit on fire in the boys' bathroom. We interviewed two students to see how they felt about the fire. I'm not very surprised about this. Confused. There's nothing at first glance that can normally start a fire that would evacuate an entire building. The upstairs boys' bathroom is temporarily closed due to this incident. The school is holding an investigation to figure out who started this fire. Thankfully, no one was injured during the evacuation, and F building is now open to students. Stay tuned for more information on this story. This has been Silver Eagle News, where news comes first. All 5,000 role model gentlemen, remember Tuesdays are dress up days and you're, you are to be in uniform, which consists of black dress pants, white dress shirts, black socks, and black shoes. And if you are a student interested in joining 5,000 role model, see Mr. Martin inside B209 TV studio. Well, it seems as if we've been on a weather roller coaster the last couple of weeks, and it's expected to continue. Our weather expert, Ariana Hill, joins us now with a sneak peek at our weekend forecast. Jorkana, you said it right, a weather roller coaster. Today we hit a low of 33 degrees, and tomorrow it's expected to be a low of 48 degrees. Sunday temperatures will remain the same. Monday is a weather alert day. When you see your next chance of rain, that's coming up. Students, this, students who are looking to have their name changed in the 2022-2023 yearbook must have a form signed by their parents. For that form and more information, see Mrs. White in F202. Long lunch lines are a hassle, making late back to class. What are a team of investigators found coming up? Plus, football and basketball aren't the only two sports in Duval County schools. We take you behind the scenes of a local school's wrestling team. We're proud to cover communications, automotive, and childcare. You're watching Silver Eagle News, where the news comes first. When you go to lunch, you expect to get fast service. But in a recent Silver Eagle News investigation, we found that's not true. Silver Eagle News investigator reporter Artemia John Johnson has a story. Since the beginning of the school year, students at Frank H. Peterson have had problems getting to class on time. And it's not because of the long hallways. I don't like how long the lines are, so I bring my own lines. <laughs> Cafeteria lines are insanely long, leaving students little time to eat and socialize. Many students say even when given additional time, they barely have 10 minutes to eat before having to rush back to class. When was the last time you've been in the lunch room? It's like a week school. That was before they started opening, uh, opening up the third line. So I ended up having to stay like after lunch and missing class. So I got behind on work. And the lines are like horrendously long, so you have no time to socialize. And this is supposed to be like our break from school. Tashara is one of the many students who have no choice but to stand in these horrendously long lines. To combat the wait, he does his best to make it to lunch early. I go to lunch early, so it's not really a problem, but when I get in there, I'll be having to wait for so long. And then it's like, when I'm in another line, the other line wouldn't move fast. And then like, I be trying to eat. I only go to nachos. Tamaya also came back to stress how the school's food would sometimes not even be worth the wait. It's actually kind of nasty, and most of the time when they give it to us, it's cold. It's cold. It's freezing cold. And it's true. Potato tots are freezing cold. Is this cold to you? I don't, I'm not touching your food. With the poor quality of the food being served, some students even opt for skipping the line altogether, choosing a full lunch break over their hunger. When was the last time you've been to the lunch line? Um, the beginning of the school year. Dry. 
It didn't taste good. No seasoning. It, need, it needs to be at least more better than what they're doing. I guarantee you that somebody at home can make it better than what the school is doing. They're not putting enough into it. With the first quarter coming to an end, students are hoping that faculty will be more understanding of the situation. While some suggest putting more employees behind the counter, others believe that creating a lunch schedule where less students are being fed at once will be a better option. The question is, when will Frank H. Peterson finally take action? Artemia Johnson, Silver Eagle News, where the news comes first. We can say that since our investigation, lines have been moving smoothly and students are getting back to class on time. Gas is a necessity, but unfortunately you'll have to pay more. Florida gas prices jumped 15 cents in one week according to AAA. The state average reached $3.41 Sunday. That's the highest average price since November 24th. You probably had to bring a jacket with you this morning. Weather expert Ariana Hill joins us with our seven-day forecast. Friday, a low of 33 degrees, reaching to a high of 60. Saturday, a low of 48 degrees and a high of 63. Sunday, we are expecting some night rain showers. You should be okay for Sunday morning. Plans for church or to walk the dog. The low is 58 and the high is 72. Monday, you want to pack an umbrella. We are having a weather alert for all day showers. Tuesday, we are monitoring the forecast, but we know the low will be, will be 60 and the high is 75. We'll be right back. Did you know that some schools in Duval County offer wrestling and it happens to be just down the street from us? Sports director Jordan Jackson take us behind the scenes of Ed White's wrestling team. Today, we are taking a look at the Ed White Commanders wrestling team. They have so much to offer. Joining the team means you can experience wrestling on a high school and college level. Right now, you are watching some D1 matches that took place at Jacksonville University on a recent field trip that the Commanders attended. As you can see, wrestling is a very physical sport. It takes a lot of elements to be a good wrestler. Today, we will have a special word from one of our coaches about some of the key elements that you have to have become an Ed White Commander. Hey, what is your name? I'm Avery Wiles, head coach of the Ed White wrestling team. And what things do you need for wrestling and why is wrestling beneficial? The only thing you need for wrestling is a can-do attitude, some wrestling shoes, and spirit. You can't never give up to be a wrestler. That's cool. And other things needed to become a wrestler, you gotta have confidence. You know, it teaches you life lessons, it teaches you how to work hard, uh, overcome challenges, overcome obstacles. I wrestled back in high school, I wrestled here. Uh, it was a big part of my life. It actually helped me all throughout my life because it taught me how to never give up. That was the biggest thing about it. With wrestling, it just, there's nothing else like it out here. Nothing like slamming somebody or getting that, hear that. On the mat. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Any other questions or information, you can contact Coach Avery at 904-895-3860. Jordan Jackson, Silver Eagle News, back to you. If you're a Buckeyes fan, you want to listen up. The famous gas station has applied to bring another site to Florida. That's according to Action News Jack. The location is expected to be in Ocala just off Interstate 75 near Highway 326. No worry yet on when the project will start. Ariana joins us now with one last look at our forecast. When you come back, when you come back to school Monday, remember to pack your umbrella. I'm forecasting a 50% chance of rain. Thank you for joining us. I'm Drequana Fanders. And I'm Damian Roden. See you next week.